Well, welcome back to another segment of 5 at 10. So glad you guys are tuning in and thank you so much for all your support um, and tuning in. And we pray that these will continue to bless you, you know, throughout this summer. Um, we're going to probably continue to try to do these throughout the summer anyway. And uh, so God bless you. Thanks for tuning in and uh, pray that you're having a blessed day. Listen, you know, there's a lot going on right now in our world, in our society. Uh, in the United States, maybe uh, even in your community, there's a lot happening. And, you know, a lot of times people think, well, what in the world can I do? What in the world should I do? Um, I can't possibly do anything. I'm just a, a little something over here in the Eastern Upper Peninsula or whatever part of the world you're in. You're just saying, I'm pretty insignificant. It's just, I'm just one person. What can I do? Well, I want to encourage you. Do you know the Lord takes the ordinary and he does the extraordinary? Or he does, takes the ordinary and he does extraordinary, amen, things with the ordinary. And I want to read something to you today. All through the Bible, you see the Lord took ordinary people and did extraordinary things with them. Let's go to um, Judges chapter 6. Now, I'm going to not read all of this. But I'd like you to study about Gideon in Judges chapter 6. I'm going to read in verse 11. Now the angel of the Lord came and sat under the tabernacle tree, which was in Ophrah, which belonged to Joash, the Abizarite, while his son Gideon threshed the wheat in the winepress in order to hide it from the Midianites. And the angel of the Lord appeared to him and said to him, The Lord is with you, you mighty man of valor. And Gideon said to him, O oh my Lord, if the Lord is with us, why then has all this happened to us? Notice Gideon's questioning. Why has all this stuff happened to us? Maybe some of you have asked the same thing. Why is all this happening in the world right now? Why is this all this happening in the United States? Gideon was asking the same question. And where are all the miracles which our fathers told us about, saying, Did not the Lord bring us up from Egypt? But now the Lord has forsaken us and delivered us into the hands of the Midianites. I want you to know the Lord hasn't forsaken us. Amen. But this is Gideon's thought. Many of you are thinking the same thing. But the Lord will not leave us. He will not forsake us. That's what his word says. Then the Lord turned to him and said, Go in this might of yours, and you shall save Israel from the hands of the Midianite. Have I not sent you? The Lord's saying, Listen, you can stand up, Gideon, and you can make a difference. And here's what Gideon's response is in verse 15. So he said to him, Oh, my Lord, how can I save Israel? Indeed, my clan is the weakest in Manasseh, and I am the least in my father's house. Basically, Gideon was saying to the Lord, Do you see me? Do you know what I am? Do you know where I came from? Do you know who I am? I'm the least of my father's house. I'm nothing. I'm a no one. And the Lord said, you, Gideon, can go and you can deliver Israel. And it says in verse 16, and the Lord said to him, surely I will be with you and you shall defeat the Midians, Midianites as one man. Again, he said, surely I will be with you. And that's something you've got to remember. We're ordinary people. But in Christ, we're extraordinary, and we can do extraordinary things. And the Lord said, he'll never leave us and forsake us. He'll go before us. He is with us. And so I want to encourage you today that God wants to use you to do extraordinary things. All you need to be, do is be like Gideon and be willing to do it. He's not looking for necessarily talent or ability. He's looking for availability and a willingness to be obedient to what he's asking you to do. And I'm telling you, he may be able to deliver a nation using you. And you're saying, well, how can that be? Well, you know what? He can use you to change your little part of your little community or your little circle of people. He can use you to change that. And if he uses each one to do that, then pretty soon we've, we've changed a community. We've changed a region. We've changed a state. We've changed a nation. And we've changed a world. All by saying yes and understanding that, yeah, we're ordinary. But God can take us and do extraordinary things through us. Amen. Well, let me um, 
give you a couple of others. In Luke chapter 5, if you look at uh, Luke chapter 5, the Lord took ordinary fishermen and did extraordinary things with them. These men were delivering people from demons. They were laying hands on the sick and they were recovering. They were preaching the gospel and people were being born again. Ordinary men just doing ordinary things. And the Lord called them and they said, yes, Lord. And the Lord used them to do extraordinary things. And he is no respecter of persons and he will do the same for you. Oh, ordinary one, you can do extraordinary things. Amen. Look at Moses. Now Moses went, was sent to deliver an entire nation. And uh, he didn't speak well. So he had to send Aaron with him. Now, you do some research, they think maybe he had a stutter. And so, again, he was just an ordinary man. And the Lord said, I'm going to use you to do extraordinary things, just like the fishermen. How about Mary? Mary, ordinary little girl. God used her to do extraordinary things. You know, birth Jesus. That's pretty extraordinary. How about Noah? Noah. God called him, used him to do extraordinary thing, built an ark, it saved his entire family. Amen? Listen, God always takes the ordinary and uses it to do extraordinary things. And you are one of those. So don't feel like I'm just a, a little nothing, that I can't do anything or be used. God will use you if you are willing to be used. If you are available and willing you watch and see if just like Gideon, God can't use you to deliver people from, from where they're at in their lives right now. Amen. Well, I pray this encouraged you and I want you to know God wants to take the ordinary and do extraordinary. Amen. God bless you today. Continue to walk in faith over fear. Love you. Have a blessed day.